What's the deal with Sneeko right now? <clears throat> the bridge is burned. Why? Because he keeps shit talking me in the most fucking way to look cool in front of his loser friends who are all going to be irrelevant in two fucking years. Um. Well, that sucks. He keeps talking, like, Melina DM'd him to do content, like, one time, like, two months ago. And then he DM'd her to do content two weeks ago. And every time he goes on a show, he's always like, oh, Melina's in my DMs, like, his wife is. And I know how, like, crazy it is for, like, me to fuck her and shit. And it's like, what the f He's, like, actually such a fucking loser. <clears throat> Why is he doing you like that? Because he wants Just to look for... cool in front of his, like, cool friends. That sucks, bro. Do you remember when you took him out to dinner and we had a good time and everyone was laughing? Yeah, like I was when your mom. <laughs> She's right here. Tell her. We gotta put her on. What is this work? Oh, you clammed up. You didn't say anything. That's weird. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Might be because he doesn't want to reverse the cuck stuff. Or he wants to reverse the cuck stuff so people don't view him as that anymore if he's spinning it around on other people. <clears throat> we could do that if he wants to do, like, spy versus spy games. And we're constantly trying to fuck each other's women. <laughs> he wants to play that game. Uh-oh. That'll be the real... Do you think he dislikes you, or do you think he's just he sees you as an easy um, clout? Thing? I'm pretty sure he likes me. Um, every third party I've ever hung out with with him says it seems like he likes me, but I think he's just he feels a lot of peer pressure to throw me under the bus in front of his like the new group of like friend bullies that he's like trying to get in with, which makes it even worse. That's um, that sucks. Well. It's just the mind of a weak man, you know? Everyone turns on you. Fucking everyone, man. Well, to be fair, the Sneeko Bridge, he's been in that community since the start. That's not, like, the most unsurprising thing in the world. <clears throat> but it's still oh. annoying, but... You're so cool with people clowning you like Sneeko, but with... I'm Lab, not cool with people clowning me like Sneeko. What do you mean? What? No, bro, you're still friends with him. No, I'm not. Fuck that guy. I burned the bridge what? today. I already told you. Yeah, what the fuck? That shit is wild. What did he say that was crazy? He's running around, like, doing these, like, cuck comments about me when I'm, like, so careful about it with him, like, on these other podcasts in a non-joking manner. It's fucking weird as fuck. It's fucking retarded. Uh, so with Sneeko, you're like, you know what? What's your line? Oh, you don't want me to make fun of your cuck shit? Uh, but when Q says, yo, relax with dissing the prophet around me, you, you you ignore that, you're satanic. But you know what? It is what it is. Okay, so he betrayed you because you told him that's my line and he keeps crossing it. So it's fuck that guy for life? Or is it like, you know, are you going to release a tweet of you <clears throat> saying, I cleared the fucking slate with all of the people. I'm cool with them. I don't know. We'll see in the future what happens, okay? So you're telling me if, if he reached out to you and he said, uh, Destiny, I want to talk with you. Y you're not going to have a conversation with him? You're gonna uh, just if you wanted to him? talk, sure, yeah. Okay, so he's not hes not a Britney level, even though she didn't say anything that crazy about you. She, she didn't call you a cuck. She just said you can't fight and other I, shit. My right? expectations for Britney and Sneaker are way different. Britney is like 30 years old or something, and we have like a semi-friendly relationship, and we don't occupy completely ideologically opposed parts of the internet. It's a different type of res relationship that we have. What, no, what was so crazy? Because you allowed people to step on you a thousand times harder than she did, and yet you've been cordial with them, and you still had conversations with them, and you still allowed them back into your life. What was so crazy about what she said to you that caused you to go full nuclear with her? Because we were on friendly terms, right? If I, like Fuentes says crazy shit about me, but I'm not friends with Nick Fuentes. I don't consider him like a person I'm even like I'm friendly ish with and that we could do contact or we did in the past. But it's a different expectation, right? Like if Sneeko went out and said some shit, I'm gonna look a lot differently at that versus like Dan going out and saying shit. That's fair. So you're telling me 
the greatest thing that she did to you wasn't what she did it's what she betrayed she betrayed the friendship that you thought that you had between you and her and which by the way was it reciprocal or was it i don't not? know i don't know if i would say betrayed the friendship i just i think the big issue is that this is a person that i thought understood me fairly well that i had like a decent amount of like personal conversation with even if they were online and for them to have like such an insane view of me in their head was just like i like i don't understand like for snake i understand he's trying to appease his like new fucking friends he's a retarded fucking 24 year old insecure young man like like looking to like copy another new father figure in his life right now to Andrew Tate. I can understand him being retarded to an extent, right? But yeah, I don't have the same expectations or understanding of somebody like Brittany. That was the difference. All right, bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.